前も邪神とたまねえ沈んどけAnd the artificial human Rouge. Both of these dynamic characters possess the ability to transform into combat forms, each sporting striking and captivating designs. As with many entries on our list, the animation in this fight was simply outstanding, every strike packed with incredible force. The choreography displayed was breathtaking, particularly as the two combatants skillfully wielded their weapons. Viola's whip initially put Rouge on the defensive. But Rouge's sword proved to be the stronger weapon in the end. Next up, we have the intense confrontation between Himari and Yachiho from Chain Soldier. Himari, the youngest daughter of the Azuma family, finds herself facing off against her older sister Yachiho, with Yuki by her side. This battle was far from easy, primarily due to Yachiho's formidable ability known as Golden Hour. With this power, she can manipulate time, pausing and rewinding it for up to 5 seconds at a time. Her prime time move extends this window to 10 seconds. Fortunately, Himari's partnership with Yuki, who can assume a speed form, proved to be a game changer, significantly mitigating the potency of Golden Hour. What truly makes this conflict compelling is the deep emotional undercurrents inherent in sibling rivalries. <laughs> Moving on is the showdown between Mash and Macaron from Mashla, Magic and Muscles. At first glance, this battle might seem peculiar, as Margaret Macaron's appearance is reminiscent of characters from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but it adds a delightful comedic twist to the fight. Macaron unleashes a barrage of spells from their arsenal, initially putting Mash on the back foot. Despite Mash seemingly being overpowered, with his ears even bleeding at one point, he refuses to stay down. Employing ingenious tactics and harnessing the sheer force of his muscle magic, Mash turns the tables on Macaron. The battle is brimming with impactful frames, and the animators truly let loose, delivering a sequence that is both smooth and flashy. It encapsulates the intensity of the confrontation while adding that signature Mashal flair that elevates the entire experience. Sounds! Metamorphosis! Continuing forward, we delve into the pivotal moment when Arajin takes a stand in Buchigiri. In a school teeming with delinquents, a full blown brawl is par for the course. After Arajin and his comrades suffer a brutal defeat at the hands of the devilish Shindo, Arajin finally unleashes his full strength when Mahoro, his high school crush, is threatened. Even before this turning point, the choreography of the skirmish between Shindo and the gang was already electrifying. However, it reaches new heights when Arajin decides to get serious. The animation captures every nuance impeccably, and the underlying emotions fueling the confrontation elevate it to a truly astonishing spectacle. Talking about exciting new series, our next entry features Sujiru facing off against the golems in Ishura. The narrative unfolds in a city besieged by a colossal mechanical beast that unleashes smaller golems to wreak havoc. Amidst the chaos, Yuno witnesses the brutal demise of her friend, only to be rescued by the formidable sword wielding Sujiru. Despite the onslaught of monsters, humanity's greatest hope rests in the hands of this unassuming warrior. Sujiru's confrontation with the golems and the colossal labyrinth is nothing short of breathtaking. Initially, the golems instill terror as they indiscriminately slaughter civilians, appearing unbeatable. However, Sujiru's arrival shifts the tide as he effortlessly dispatches them, amplifying the intensity of the battle. Sujiru's fluid movements, expertly choreographed, 
add an extra layer of excitement to the encounter. It's a testament to the unexpected brilliance of a relatively obscure series. We're raising the stakes with this entry, featuring a clash between two evenly matched adversaries in every aspect. Freerin and Fern versus Freerin. Essentially, it's a battle between Freerin and her own clone. With Fern mostly observing from the sidelines, battles between equally matched opponents always offer a thrilling spectacle. However, this one stands out because both combatants possess identical abilities and battle strategies. Freerin, a mage with immense mana output and over a millennium of experience, is incredibly powerful, to the extent that only her clone can truly rival her. The fight unfolds as a dazzling showcase of magic, saturating the screen with vibrant hues, culminating in Fern delivering the decisive blow. This moment undoubtedly ranks among the highlights of the winter season, primarily due to its sheer intensity. What adds to its allure is the foreshadowing that suggests if it wasn't the Demon King who killed Freerin, it would have been a human mage. Next on our list is the epic showdown between Jin Wu and Kang from Solo Leveling. After witnessing Sung Jin Wu's devastating display against Wang and his men, it's hard to imagine him facing an even deadlier opponent. One of the deadliest B-rank assassins in the series, Kang. The entire duel unfolds as a clash between two assassins, but Kang underestimates Jin Wu's true power. Jin Wu proves himself to be no ordinary hunter, especially after Kang's unjust act of killing Mr. Kim, who was on the brink of redemption. Throughout the battle, Kang believes he holds the upper hand, even resorting to stealth tactics. However, this proves to be his undoing. The battle is a spectacle of sheer awesomeness, living up to all the anticipation. Witnessing Jin Wu unleash his bloodlust, his aura overflowing with power, is both awe-inspiring and menacing. But little did Kang know, he was about to confront a darkness far beyond his comprehension. <gasps> Next up in top 3, we have the gripping encounter where Hagen faces off against the ninjas from Ninja Kamui, who truly give him a challenge. This fight scene epitomizes Hagen's sheer badassery as he takes on a horde of ninjas, all while literally forcing himself out of a wheelchair. With these relentless ninjas hot on his trail, Hagen turns their own weapons against them, utilizing his ninjutsu skills to become an unstoppable force of nature. The highlight comes when we're treated to a first-person view of Hagen dispatching his foes in an elevator, leaving a trail of bodies in his wake as he traverses the hospital. The choreography accompanying this animation reaches a whole new level of fluidity and intensity, perfectly matching the tempo of the background music. This moment stands out as one of the most brutal and intense displays of power we've witnessed recently. Securing the second spot on our list is the epic battle between two formidable pirates, and it's well-deserved. Blackbeard's crew boasts some of the most notorious pirates on the seas, while Law's crew appears comparatively more subdued, perhaps due to their matching suits. However, the focus here lies on Law's confrontation with the Emperor Blackbeard. Law is one of the rare few who have faced off against three Emperors of the Sea, and he showcases his incredible skills in this clash. The moment brims with intensity, showcasing how far One Piece has evolved since its inception. Blackbeard's overwhelming display of power surpasses even Law's formidable abilities within his overpowered room. What elevates this battle further is the fact that these characters are considered side characters, and the Straw Hats are nowhere near this conflict yet. Despite this, Toei Animation transforms it into a cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> Topping our list at number one is the epic showdown between Sunraku and Wezemon from Shangri-La Frontier. In gaming, meticulous preparation and understanding of abilities are paramount for success and Sunraku is typically known for his readiness. However, in this encounter, his preparations fall short, 
A perilous position to be in when facing off against an armored samurai capable of absolute devastation. Despite the odds stacked against him, Sunraku's quick thinking enables him to activate the necessary skills to confront his formidable opponent head-on. What unfolds is a clash of titans, a spectacle of unparalleled intensity. The level of detail in every frame is simply mind-blowing, from the fragments flying in the air to the sparking clashes, and even the intricate fractures in Wesemann's armor. This battle transcends even the breathtaking details. Shangri-La Frontier proves to be a series criminally underrated, with this battle standing as a testament to its brilliance. That wraps up our rundown of the top 10 fights of winter 2024. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which fight was your favorite this winter. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.